spend vacation with me as a mama six. This year for our family vacation, we are headed off to Orlando, Florida. We had a vote going on on whether we were going to go to Fort Lauderdale or Orlando, and clearly Orlando won. We stayed at the Dockside Hotel, which is one of the Universal Studios hotels. I chose to stay at a hotel instead of an Airbnb because, y'all, I am on vacation and I don't feel like really cleaning up nothing. So that was one of the biggest drawbacks for me was staying at Airbnb. The hotel did have a small little kitchenette, which was perfect because in the morning, Hubs got up and he went and bought us food and we stocked up the little fridge. I am so in love with my fanny pack, y'all. I bought one from Clap. I think I'm saying the name right. And it was the perfect size. It fit everything I needed it to for the day. I bought our baby jogger CD Select Lux stroller with us for the twins. And yes, they are five years old, but it is a lot of walking when you go to these theme parks. And I learned with Joel three years ago when we took him to Disney World that it is very much needed. Okay, side note. So you guys know we're from Orlando. Y'all, this is where me and Hubs had our very first day. And it was so cool to be able to show our kids that. Low key, back in the day, the Hard Rock Cafe used to be my favorite little restaurant in City Walk. We got to the park and met up with the whole family. The boy's dad is there, my cousin, my sister. We took a quick family picture and headed off into the park. Our first order of business was going onto the Hulk. And unfortunately, they don't let you take your phone in there. So I could not take our phones. But y'all, the Hulk is definitely that ride. If you go on the Hulk, my suggestion is to get either in the first row or the last row or else you won't feel anything. Once we got off that, we took the little ones on the little teacup ride and y'all saw their faces. They were having so much fun. We walked around a little bit and then we went to the Spider-Man ride, which believe it or not, is pretty fun and interactive for the kids, especially. I've been on it a million times. We happened to catch Spider-Man right after and the kids were able to take a picture. So fun fact about me, I used to work at this restaurant as a teenager, the Comic Strip Cafe. So this was my very first job. So when I tell y'all I've been on these rides a million times, I've been on these rides a million times. It was extremely hot out. So the next ride we went on to was the Popeye's Paradise Cruises. When I tell you, you get soaked on this ride, you get soaked and wet. They have you put your shoes inside of that cover right there. But I'll be honest with you, I still feel like our shoes got wet. Our clothes were soaked. They do have fans that you can pay like $5 or so for that will dry you up. But I've used it before and I feel like it takes forever to work so we just went ahead and thugged it out and just walked around and within like 20 minutes or so we dried up i know a lot of people want to go to universal islands of adventure just for the roller coasters but i like going to some of the sit down rides because it gives you a chance to kind of just relax a little bit oftentimes the lines on those rides aren't that long and we did have a couple fast passes so it allowed us to go see some other rides while we waited for our time so i have a new favorite ride and it is the velocta coaster y'all when i tell you this thing is extremely fast it is truly not for the weak the the thing goes fast from beginning to end. The Harry Potter world is definitely my favorite. We went on a ride with the little ones. I was so shocked that they could get on this roller coaster, but we had such a great time. They did such a good job building this because it looks exactly like everything we've seen in the movie. If you've never had butterbeer, oh my gosh, I feel bad for you, son, because that thing is amazing. I literally go to the Harry Potter world just for the butterbeer. We stopped by Burger Dig for some lunch. To save us some money, one tip that I would give is bring your own snack and drink and y'all we saved so much money we ended our day at universal by going on the dr seuss ride which is a ride that takes you around the whole park and lets you see it from a higher view i thought it was so cute that they had a thing one and thing two cakes so i bought it for the twins and y'all that is how we ended day one of our vacation stay tuned for part two and three